Hey guys, this video is being created to give you guys an idea of what to expect when you return to campus for your voluntary workouts. The steps that we'll discuss today have been designed with your health in mind and vetted by medical officials. They also follow the guidelines set by the NCAA and the Pac-12, as well as federal, state, and local officials. Everyone returning to campus will start with a seven day quarantine. This will begin when you first arrive back on campus if you are coming from an outside location, or if you remained in Berkeley or the immediate Bay Area, your quarantine will begin immediately when our return to campus date has been determined. During these seven days, you should refrain from leaving your residence as much as possible, and you should wear a face covering at all times unless you are alone in your room. At the end of the seven day quarantine, a testing and medical clearance process will begin. Myself and the athletic training staff will guide you through scheduling these appointments. Due to increased testing and workup this year, it may take up to two weeks to clear you to participate. Therefore, you need to be patient, follow all directions you are given, and arrive at all of your scheduled appointments on time. All players will be placed in small cohorts based on your living situation. During the initial phases of return, we're gonna ask that everyone remain with your cohort and not work out or socialize outside of that group. All of your scheduling will be provided for you by your strength and conditioning and athletic performance staff. Another change during this time is that all treatments with the athletic training staff need to be scheduled prior to your arrival. Due to physical distancing requirements, there will no longer be drop-in treatment hours. Every morning when you wake up, you will grab your phone and go to etang.berkeley.edu to fill out a symptom screen. It is crucial that if you have any symptoms listed on this screen, that you stay home, read the instructions on the screen, and immediately notify your athletic trainer. Be sure to wear the proper workout clothes for the day, as well as a face covering when you come to the facilities. Also bring one to two full water bottles, your dirty laundry loop from the day before, your cleats and an extra face covering in case the one that you're wearing gets wet. Remember that the locker room will be closed during this time and you will not be allowed to shower nor change in there. Be sure to wear your face covering when you leave your home. You'll be expected to wear this covering throughout your time in the facility, including while training. When you arrive at Memorial Stadium, you will go to gate four of the Simpson Center. Gate four is located just up the stairs next to the I House and just outside the Academic Study Center. Outside the gate, please maintain six feet distance of others. This distance will be marked by lines on the ground just outside the gate. As you enter the gate, an athletic trainer will be stationed there to assist you. You will show them your symptom score on your phone before gaining access to the building. Once inside the gate, you will drop off your dirty loop in a laundry bin and proceed through the glass doors in front of you into the building. Once inside, another athletic trainer will take your temperature. At this point, if by chance you do have a temperature, the athletic trainer will instruct you on what to do next. If you do not have a temperature, you will exit the glass doors, walk up the stairs to the plaza, and grab your catapult and GPS unit. Once the weight room and athletic training rooms are open, you will then have access to the South Olympic Training Room down the stairs to your left if you have a scheduled appointment. Things will look a bit different when you're on the field conditioning. The two cohorts training will be totally separated and the individuals in your cohort will maintain six feet distancing. Once we're done with our conditioning work on the field, you'll remove your catapult vest and the GPS unit and drop them both in their respective bins. Because we're only cleared to condition right now, once you drop your catapult unit off, you will go down and follow the gate three path where you'll pick up your clean laundry loop and your food before leaving the facility until the next day. Once we are cleared for weightlifting, you'll leave the field the same way and follow the gate three path down into the weight room facility. Once in the weight room, the setup will be similar to that on the game field. You will have your cohorts on either end of the weight room where each person works out at his own rack individually using his own equipment. Once you're done with your lift, you will exit out of the weight room and exit up the gate three stairs where you'll pick up your clean laundry loop and your food and you're done for the day. Please let us know if you have any questions throughout this process. We are all here to help. 
Stay safe, stay healthy, and go Bears.